Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Good to see you again. So let's get started. And today it's Wednesday. So I talk about my own strategy, KTS, and talk about my philosophy or my idea of where I exit the trade. So yeah, this is a recorded video and this video is recorded on last Sunday. So you see the still background is my previous house. But tomorrow uh, there will be a live stream and you see me in a new room, in a new background. So let's get started. Today is 16th December. So and talk about the essence of exit timing. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is basically based on my experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your risk. So the exit timing. Um, so as you may already know, I look at the Kumo Kinus and angles to capture the market direction. So when I see this on a daily chart, for example, uh, if I move the candles one, one previous candle, then I see that this is uptrending. We see the Kumo up and Kijun Sen up. And additionally, Tenkan Sen and up and also Chikou Span above the candles. So in terms of the Ichimoku 5 lines, this is uptrending. So I expect the market go up on this bullish trend. So this is where I look for the buy chance. So I look at the one hour to confirm this uptrend and hopefully this is uptrending and it looks like no and 30 minute chart let's see in 30 this is also flat so yeah let me go back in this one hour chart also hold on let me go back to this candlestick for example uh yeah i think this is a good example so here is one hour chart also up and also uh, the a daily chart is also up. <clears throat> yeah, so once again, this this is CADJPY and daily chart up on this day, uh, the 10th of December. Daily up and also one hour chart is up. So this is where I look for the buy chance. And I look at the 5 or 15 in this example. Let me take the 5 and um, I will just cancel Daichimoku and let's say I take a buy here. And when I take a buy, that means that I expect the market go bullish on this bullish in wave structure, like this way. So let's see how it goes afterwards. I will just move the candles one by one. So okay, so here I put the stop loss below the recent low. And the stop loss in this case will be here. And this is going to be um, yeah, 13, 13 pips of stop loss. So this is decent. So I take this stop loss, I risk 2% and expect the market go up above. So I just move forward and let me talk about the exit timing for today. So as the market goes on, so once again, I expect the market go bullish in the wave like this way. So let's see how it goes. So initially, gradually, okay, so now it's going down. And now it's going down so sharply. So not only the market goes down this way, but also the market renews lower twice in this 5 minute chart. And now it's reaching towards the low level of this uh, recent low. And this is where I have to exit. Because the market can go continuously downwards this way. So this is one of the exit timings and that's why I put the stop loss at this level the, below the previous low so that the, if the market goes backwards this way that should be the exit timing. So I think uh, I will just move the candle one more and hit the stop loss. Yeah, hit the stop loss so I will lose this position. So in this case, let's take a look at the daily chart again with the Ichimoku lines and see if this is still moving up. Okay, yeah, Ichimoku, um, Kumo Kijun Sen are still moving up on the daily chart, and how about the one hour chart? Um, okay, in one hour chart, technically, this is still moving up, so I still look for the buy chance. So coming back to the five, um, I will just cancel 
the, uh, the candle and now this is retracing backwards so most likely I won't take any trace and um, let me just go the candles move the candles one by one so now it gradually going down so let's move it until the next day so this is on the uh, 10th of December so let me forward it to the 11th of December so yeah the market gradually goes down so that's why I I uh, I exit here yeah as you already know that this is down trending in 5 and the market trend starts from the lower time frames and if the 5 minutes start to go down then that will make the 1 hour to go down and also the daily chart eventually go down this way so let's see um, let me forward the candle to the next day and um, let's see if the daily chart is becoming flat by then so here is the 11th chart and let me come back to the daily chart with these Ichimoku lines and yeah Ichimoku lines are flat now we see hold on let me zoom in a bit more and we can see that the Kumo uh, Senko Span B flat and also Kijun Sen is flat at the moment so in this case I expect the market retrace backwards continuously to initially to the Tenkan Sen and if the market breaks the Tenkan Sen downwards then it might come back to the Kijun Sen so this is basically where I have to exit eventually but if you see the 5 minute chart already uh, that was the exit timing uh, all the way in the previous backwards here because afterwards the market is going down this way so if you can sense the potential retracing like a reversal signals like here in this case once again um, not only the market broke the recent low once but actually it broke the recent low twice and the market continues to go down this way so I was placing the buy at the top here but um, in this case I have to exit very soon at the stop loss the previous low so that um, I have to exit soon and then because this is the potential where the market continue to go down this way and uh, in this case it went downwards afterwards but sometimes the market after the market breaks it downwards it actually doesn't renew that's uh, the, uh, um, the next low it doesn't renew but it's going to support, support it and continue to go up this way in that case I will still look for buy chance because most likely the daily chart is uptrending still and one hour chart is also straight uptrending but it didn't happen in this example it kept going down this way so that wa that's why I have to exit here so I think uh, the exit timing is more difficult than entry timing because entry timings we uh, actually enter the market by hope and the wish but uh, the exit timing when you exit that's when you have to admit the fact that uh, you know the market goes against your direction so psychological wise I think it's more difficult to exit to press the exit button and it might be painful but um, for sure you have to exit at some point uh, and my recommendation is that when you see the potential reversal signals like this way you have to exit so in this case I showed it through the price action but you can use the to different tools like a, like a moving average or the stochastics that I use or you can use RSI, MACD and if you see the potential retracing uh, signals then that's where you should exit so I hope you liked today's video if you liked it please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day and one quick announcement is that um, I teach these things hands-on in the GTS class global trading school and there is one more seat available for the GTS in the month of uh, January, February and March session so if you're still interested please write me an email and I can put you on the waiting list okay so tomorrow is going to be the 17th of December and it's going to be the live stream so I will be live stream from the new house so I will see you tomorrow on live stream and until then please stay healthy and stay gold
Alright, bye for now. またね。Thank you, everyone.